Levi is uh, is going to be the, the bachelor character or, or the person looking for a date in our dating game. But the people uh, that Levi has to choose from uh, are going to be uh, characters or, or have a characteristics that will be decided by all of you. So, uh, starting over here, uh, give me a cartoon character. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Mickey Mouse. Um... Uh, let's see. Grace uh, is uh, has a hobby that she is the best in the world at. Sewing. She's the world's greatest sewer. Yeah. The world's greatest sewer. Um. All right. Let Let's see. Uh, Emma. Uh, Emma just got here from uh, uh, from some crazy, crazy location that she has been spending uh, way too much time. Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Emma spends way too much time in Texas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and uh, let's see. Kirsten is an is an animal of, of what so what kind of animal? Sloth. A sloth. sloth. A sloth. <laughs> okay. So uh, let us remind ourselves uh, who who our contestants are here. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. I love sewing. Uh, I am from. I love Texas. <laughs> I am a sloth. <laughs> All right, and uh, I will go get Levi here, who will have a wonderful choice here to make. And uh, please welcome your host of the dating game. Yeah. We will bring our contestant in shortly. Welcome everybody here to the Unscrewed Theater. Dating game. I am excited as ever to bring joy and love into people's hearts by matching them up with perfect strangers they never met before. It's a long standing tradition here and I enjoy it a great deal. Hi, sir. Why don't you introduce yourself to these lovely folks? Um, hello, my name is Gobble McBobble. Weird name I know. Uh, are you from are, are you from the Tulsa McBobbles? Uh no. Oh, I, I thought from, I'd not known your family. I'm from southern New Hampshire. Oh, interesting. I've I've heard of that place. It's that way. Uh, so, Gobble, we're gonna get you uh, introduced to these folks. I want you to think of some questions to ask them and see if you like them or not. So, I'm gonna start all the way down at that end so that the audience can read from left to right like we do here in America. <laughs> Contestant number one, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, hi. I'm Mickey Mouse. Okay, oh, I just said. <laughs> you don't know that. Who's Mickey Mouse? I like hanging out with friends. Well, all right then. Well, that one, that one's gonna be an easy guess for Gobble, and that's okay. Contestant number two, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, hello. My name is Joanne Michaels, and if you ever need a hem, I got gotcha. you. That is a good thing to know. Contestant number three, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Howdy. My name is Cowboy Hat. <laughs> That's very fitting. All right, contestant number four, tell us a little bit about yourself, if you would, please. People say that I'm a little slow, <laughs> and I find that rude, <laughs> but I am here today <laughs> nonetheless. That's very true. You are correct in all counts there. All right, Goblin, you got your first question ready. Yes. All right. If we were to order something on a first date mm -hmm. at Red Lobster, what would you order? Excellent. All right. Uh, so, uh, well, we already know what Mickey probably would or wouldn't order. We'll come back to you, though, if you want to think about it. Uh, contestant number two, what would you order at a Red Lobster? Um, if I were at a Red Lobster, I'd, I don't want anything messy or greasy because... All my clothes are handcrafted, and I use real expensive fabric, and I just don't want to deal with cleaning that up, you know? So, clean. Something clean, maybe with a knife and fork, which is unheard of at Red Lobster. Uh, <laughs> contestant number three, what would you order at a Red Lobster? That's a good question. I've never heard of Red Lobster. That's a little too fancy for your kind, isn't it? All right, uh, contestant number four, what would you order at one of them there Red Lobsters? Well... <laughs> I'd probably have to think about it for quite a while. <laughs> it's only a half hour show, honey. I don't eat seafood. Uh, seafood. I live in the trees. That's fair. You might try a Cheddar Bay biscuit, though, anyway. They're real good. Yeah. All right, contestant number one, uh, friend, what would you order at them there, Red Lobsters? Hot dog. 
<laughs> you betcha. Absolutely. All right, Galva, what you got for another question? How would you describe yourself in appearance and as a person? Oh, fair enough. All right. Let's start with contestant number three. Exactly how would you describe yourself as a, as a, in your appearance and as a person if you were to perhaps describe yourself to another person? I have a cowboy hat mm -hmm. and a lasso. That is true. That is some, someone who does the things you do would have those things. That's absolutely right. Contestant number four, how would you describe yourself in appearance and or personality? Three toes. <laughs> That's enough for anyone. I don't I mean, you can't hear anything. Mickey, how would you describe yourself to people? I got these big ears. Yeah, yeah you do. And you hear a lot. I'll bet, I yeah. I only wear pants. Oh, now that's a fashion choice I wouldn't have thought of. Yeah. Yeah, I'm used to the other ones just wear a top, like, like Winnie the Pooh and Donald Duck. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Contestant number two, how would you describe yourself to others? I'm often described with, like, the grandma, sweet grandma type. I mean, I don't know where they get it from. Grandmas, mostly. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, let's see, do we do contestant number two? How would you describe yourself to people? Do we know you're wearing a cowboy hat and a lasso? You said that. I apologize. Uh, how are we doing? You want one more question? Um, I have a guess for contestant number four back there. Uh, this is four. That's one oh, all the way on that contestant end. Contestant number one. All right, who do you think that is? Are you Mickey Mouse? Yeah, there no. you go. No. That's, yeah, that's Mickey, Mouse. that's Mickey Mouse. You got any other guesses? You want another question? Is contestant number four the Lorax? Oh, you're in the right ballpark, but uh, less fictional. <laughs> so, uh, you got any other guesses for two or three? What, if, if for instance, you were to guess at uh, what... Number two might be the best in the world at. What might that be? Number two yeah. best in the world. Yeah, Joanne Michaels. Nitty. Oh, you're again in the right ballpark. You keep cooking on that one. What about number three? If she were to spend most of her life somewhere else, where that might that somewhere else be? Um, <laughs> as a cowboy. Mm -hmm. Yep, you're in the right ballpark there too. Then would you be interested in the sea or the saloon? The saloon. I, there you go. I don't know. Take a look down and see if that helps. Just, just a little further down. Just a little, a little further down. No, no reason. No reason. So if she were perhaps spending all her time somewhere, where that, where might that somewhere be? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, maybe, don't maybe, know. maybe Texas. Hey, yeah. maybe Texas. Yeah. 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 If it ain't knitting, maybe it's more broad of a kind of category. What might it be? Crochet. Well, yeah, but no, bigger than even that, because there's very specific ways of putting Weaving. Okay, you're getting close. <laughs> what if I had a machine that could do it? Knitting. <laughs> knitting machine. I'm going to give it to you. It's sewing, but that's close yeah, enough. Sewing. It, sewing is like knitting, but real tiny. Yeah. yeah, okay. And now we got contestant number four. So you have, we got, uh, uh, does, lives in the trees, doesn't like seafood, three toes. What you got? Super slow. Super slow, real. Takes a while to hear every single answer. Sloth. Yes! Yeah!